Okay, so I just wanted to jump on and make a quick video um, with some of my tips for using Spangle Moss. Well, they're not really my tips, so I don't know if anybody else had the same problem as me where I used to really struggle. Um, propagation in water I used to do super, super well with, and even in soil did okay, but when it came to sp like Spangle Moss, I just... I don't know, I did not have a great success rate. A lot of my nodes particularly used to um, rot. Um, and I didn't really continue trying because I was having good look with everything else that I was using. So I just put it to the side. But I went to collect my new plant the other day, which is the, I don't quite know how you pronounce this. It's the Philodendron Patriciae or Patriciae. Um, kind of spelt like Patricia with an E on the end. They're absolutely gorgeous when they get bigger. The leaves are absolutely huge. Um, I'm so excited to see this one grow. But he gave it to me in, um, in moss and asked, um, asked me you know, how I got on with moss and he gave me some tips. So I just wanted to share them with you guys because maybe you were having the same problems as me. And I think one of the things that I was doing was I was overwatering my moss and I was having it I think because I root in water so I also thought that the moss needed to be really really damp to activate nodes because you know obviously they root very well in water so why wouldn't you have wet moss um but actually I think I was over watering my moss and if you can wring any water out of it it's way too wet and the way it should be is just sort of damp to the touch and then you should leave it to completely dry out before you moisten it again. And it's better actually to moisten it with um, a spray, a water spray bottle, rather than just wetting it and, and squeezing it out. It's, it's enough to just spray it with a little bit of water and just keep it damp and drying out between, applica like between applications. So since I've been doing this, I've been having um, more luck <laughs> with, my, with my cuttings because it encouraged me to start doing some cuttings again in moss. I do also um, put them in a bag. In fact, I'll show you how I, um, how I do my cuttings. And this seems to speed the process along even more, so I just nearly dropped them. So I put mine in uh, freezer bags and I moisten the moss and then I blow some air into the bag and then, so I just seal it with a little bit open at the side, blow in air, so you've got a kind of greenhouse effect and then I seal it and I don't know if you can really see in there but I've just got some trays of moss um, with my cuttings in and damp moss. Now the other tip that he gave me as well, which I think was another thing that I was going wrong, is not to really tightly pack your moss. So have it very, very loose and almost just place, because these are aroids. Um, I mean, obviously I am really specialise in philodendrons and then I have a few monsteras. Um, so obviously if you're growing different plants, it might be slightly different, but Philodendrons, uh, they grow up trees, uh, so they don't really necessarily, you can actually grow them in moss for most of, their, most of their lives. They don't really have a great need for soil, but you don't need to tightly pack the moss. It's actually enough to still very, very loosely. And that's another thing I was going wrong, was I was over wetting my moss and I was clumping it together so it was really, really tight and tightly compacted around my cuttings. And yeah, I wasn't having a great success rate. So it's early days, but it seems to be a lot better, less wet, and very, very loosely kind of thrown into the pot. So your cuttings are just, you know, they're just nestled in there rather than compacted round. So I hope that helps anyone that's struggling with their moss. Uh, let me know if that helps. Not actually particularly my advice, but then everything is secondhand. But yeah, I was told some things that really helped me and I thought I would share them. So yeah, have a good day, everyone.